We have no evidence for uh, having been more than four dimensions. Before we go to the evidence, maybe it's useful to understand how we would look for evidence, and that will depend a little bit on, on those extra dimensions. There's different ways we can think of extra dimension, and by that I mean extra dimensional space. Um, so this is the premises. Already from the outset, we need to explain why we don't see them in our everyday life, and then how we could see them if we do uh, more um, special experiments. The most common Hakadusa Klein um, way to understand why we wouldn't see the extra dimensions right now is because they're compactified, they're so small um, that we don't, we don't even, we, we can spread along those extra dimensions ourselves. We are possibly even going along those extra dimensions, but it's extremely hard to do any uh, excitations along those extra dimensions. This is the type of degrees of freedom that Rogers is talking about. And so we would need to go to colliders or to energy scales, which are so beyond what is accessible at the moment um, and that would ever be accessible that we can't really probe that. One thing which is quite remarkable is that when string theory proposed the, the need of extra dimensions, in principle, it could have come up with any number of extra dimensions. It could have been a negative number. It, can, uh, it could not have been an integer. And the fact that string theory requires an integer, positive integer number of dimension already, that's really a good sign that <laughs> is not completely crazy. When you think about it, that's our idea. <laughs>